Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Hubert Kusheno and this video is part of our Cisco Secure X series. Previously, we discussed what is Cisco Secure X, interim architecture, possible integrations, and FAQ. In this video, we are going to learn what are the available regions, what authentication methods are available, such as security sign on, Cisco ID, Threat Grid, Office 365, and Threat Response slash AMP how to set up an account on Cisco SecureX platform, uh, a walkthrough uh, in terms of the dashboard, system services components, uh, overview. So before we start, so there are on, on your right, so you're gonna have uh, three main regions. So Americas, Europe, Asia Pacific, and Japan and China, as you can see. So from the, it's important to think how your SecureX is going to hook up on the other platforms from the GPR, GDPR perspective. If you, if you do have environment in a particular region, it will be uh, more sensible to choose as well SecureX under that region. If you do have a more complex environment across multiple regions, uh, please select carefully uh, that, the, the region that you are looking for. So, there are a few options when it comes to the authentication. So, at, but before we jump on that, I will because I'm I'm in Europe, so I will select Europe. And right now we have a couple of options in terms of authentication, right? And as I was as I mentioned before, so because this, I'm going to set it up a new uh, Cisco SecureX account, I will hit here the first the first option. But bear in mind that if you have uh, threat response um, and AMP accounts, you can use this option here, or even if you have Cisco uh, threat grid users, you can also use this option. But also it supports the old Cisco or the, the Cisco ID where you, the, the account that you use on the cisco.com portal, and also also uh, Office uh, 365 that we're also gonna show in, I'm gonna show you in a moment. But uh, let me hit the option here. So we're gonna sign on. Um, to create an account, but as you can see here, as we mentioned to you, so you can have, uh, you can sign in as well with Cisco.com and sign in with Microsoft. So before we create an account, or before you, we create an account, you have to make sure that uh, your organization, your organization already exists. If, if it already exists, um, it has an administrator, uh, the person that actually set up uh, the Cisco SecureX tenant, so it will be easier for you to ask that person to invite you in uh, for the, the Cisco SecureX on the on the portal. Uh, otherwise, you are you are fine. We're just gonna create. If you are on your own, we're gonna create um, your own. You're gonna create your own tenant uh, using um, this this procedure. So because I wanna create a, a fair new user. I will hit here, create a secure X sign on. If you uh, have already a user, you kind of put here your username next and we will ask you for, uh, for your password and etc. cetera. Uh, bear in mind that this is gonna integrate as well with um, MFA, multi-factor authentication. For this case, um, is already in the platform that we're gonna have to use uh, Cisco Duo, a Cisco secure MFA platform from, um, from, from Cisco. Okay, let's hit here the secure X sign on. Here we go. So I'm gonna create here my, my account. Uh, this is gonna have to be, okay. Oops. Okay, so this should be right. And after we done, as I mentioned here, so you've got all your details in the organization at the bottom. So once you fill it, you click register. By now, we should got an email on our email account. We need to confirm that. Here we go. So the email will look, it will look like this. 
kind of uh, this. Give me a hit and hopefully we can. There we go. Okay, so we are kind of uh, we activated the account and now we're gonna hit the Cisco Security X sign on. And here you go. So now is the multi-factor authentication that we're gonna have to set it up, as I was mentioning. So there are a few options. Um, if you have an Android or an Apple device, you can install the Duo uh, mobile app, which will give you uh, a quick a few options in terms of um, a, a Duo push, for example. So you have to just tick yes or no if you want to uh, to let that request go through. Um, or you can also have uh, SMS and, and voice. If you don't have any, any fancy device, uh, that's not a problem because we can also do voice calls okay, to authenticate. That's a new factor authentication. There is also an, uh, an optional um, using uh, the Google Goal Authenticator uh, as, an, as, a, as, a, as another uh, MFA, but um, uh, for now we're going to use just into a security. Okay, we're going to configure the factor here. It's going to ask you for our number. I'm going to start set up. What device we are using. In this case, I'm going to use a mobile phone. It's going to ask for my, so I will select the United Kingdom and my number. Okay, after you got your number, it will ask you if you enter the right number. You tick the box and you continue. Now, at this point, you're going to you're going to pick and choose what you want to do. If you want to uh, have a call or a text, I always prefer text; it's easier and faster. So I got I got the email. Okay, the email looks like this, the message sorry, looks like this. And I will put the digit code. I will verify and hopefully he accepted and I will hit continue. And now I will hit, so as you can see here, you have um, the, 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 the MFA options are the dual push and call this device, so because I have already a uh, duo uh, on my mobile phone, I would select this one, but I will actually, for this, I will select the call this device. Um, and call me. Now it's dialing, and is definitely, um, there you go, the call coming in. Okay, you hit the number and successfully log in. There you go. Now you are okay. Enroll factors, so but also you can uh, enroll uh, using Google Authenticator. Okay, but for now is um, is absolutely fine. Okay, now very important. So this is where you're going to set up your organization. Okay, on the Secure X. So let's go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So at this point, um, at this point, um, we have our account set up. Um, but to actually activate the account, we have to configure a product to act activate this account. Okay. So uh, we will just do it in a minute. Let me actually select here this option. I think it's important as well. So as you can see here. Um, on your on your um, on your settings, you're gonna see here admin. So your role is the admin for for this organization. So you can see in which in which role you are in. 
um, you can see what method you are getting authenticated from and the color team. So people prefer, sometimes people prefer the, 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 the white one or the more dark one. So those are the differences. Um, and also not less important is uh, the system services component. So this is the back end of the Cisco uh, SecureX. So you can see that uh, what actually, been, if there is any issues, so an M region, so actually it's North America region, apparently currently have some issues, apparently has been fixed already. Uh, and also um, performance here across uh, the other regions, so EU and uh, AJPAC. Uh, you have the portal, the security orchestrator, API services as well. Um, and another important uh, thing that I would like, I like to see it is the the, the, the latency. Um, I'm not sure if this is the latency be, uh, between the services, but I I I think so. I'm not really sure to be honest. Uh, so um, yeah, um, there is also here if you want to get and subscribe here uh, to the updates uh, from the system services component, so you can see. Uh, or you can receive uh, via email, via a message, or even uh, via RSS, for example. Um, bear in mind that via email, you only you only will receive notifications for creates, updates, or resolves uh, in, in terms of an incident. And uh, in terms of messages, you will just receive um, create and resolve. Okay. Um, in, if you want just specifically, if you notice that there is a, a currently a issue uh, in a particular region, uh, you can actually subscribe that particular um, that particular incident. So, um, of course, via email or via text uh, is, is going to be your choice. Okay. Now, uh, as I was mentioning before, so to activate or secure X account, we're going to have to at least uh, set up uh, one of the modules. Okay, so we can kind of have different modules here available. Um, I will first hit, um, go ahead and set up the, the Cisco Umbrella module. And uh, definitely we'll cover the Cisco Umbrella more in depth. But just to set it up the account, I will just to uh, add this particular module just so we can close uh, this video uh, activating the property account. So I will add the module. So to activate the module, we're going to have to um, go on the Cisco umbrella and uh, generate the key and also uh, pick and also pick up the organization ID. Okay. So let's go for it. So I do currently have dashboard here available. So this is going to be the dashboard. So to get to the dashboard, you're going to have to authenticate with your credentials. So you're going to go and dashboard.umbrella.com on, or on your URL. You're going to log in and you'll uh, you you get to the the dash the, the, the umbrella portal. Once there, you go to the admin API keys option, and we're going to create a new API key. And let's just for the moment, let's just create umbrella reporting. We hit create. So it's going to generate now a pair, a, 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 a key and a secret, which we're going to use, which we're going to use on our module to set up our module. Okay. Um, so what's your organization? Your organization is going to be these here. Okay. There is other ways to go, but the easiest way to do it is actually, as you can see here, uh, is going to be this number. So it's going to be a numeric number. So this is going to be the organization. So we can copy this, o copy this over. Um, and it's going to be organization. It's going to be here. And this is going to be the secret, uh, the key. And we also going to have the secret. Bear in mind that this secret, uh, bear in mind that this secret is going to be just available once. So once you create, if you want to keep, um, if you want to keep a record of this secret, 
uh, you have to copy these over to a safe place, like a password vault, for example, okay? Because after we tick this and close, uh, we're not going to be able to see this uh, secret, uh, this secret again, okay? Let me copy over uh, the API key. Oh, I already done that. Uh, let's copy the secret, and if I close it, um, and as you can see, you're going to be able only to see the key, not the secret anymore. Okay, well, let's place here. So at this point, we should be ready to go. Um, let's just save, and as you can see here, success module configuration saved successfully. So at this point, we should have our, act, uh, our account uh, fully activated. And the way that we confirm if the module was properly set up, we confirm here the button confirm configuration and hopefully everything should be completed at this point. Just there you go. So your account has been activated. So congratulations. You are ready to start using your secure uh, X um, platform. If we go ahead and click on the button, we're going to get redirected to the Cisco Threat Response. Jump to the Cisco Secure X. You can click here directly or go via security.cisco.com on your URL. Security.cisco.com on your URL. And hopefully, after we sign in, with the security x sign on as we set it up our account with we should get our cisco secure x congratulations if you want to learn more please subscribe our channel thanks for watching